Hello YouTube and welcome to Full Dottle, a channel dedicated to tamping topics such as pipes, tobacco, lore, and more. I am your host, the Bearded Briarman, and without further ado, let's get lit. Welcome back everyone, and on this episode of Full Dottle, I'm going to be giving my first impression of Sutliff 1849. This is a vapor. It was a gift from JMZ56. <clears throat> I believe it is John Zedelec, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let's read what Tobacco Reviews says here. This unique blend is a mixture of bright Virginia, sweet red Virginia, and two cuts of Perique. No flavoring has been de detected. The strength is mild to medium, and the taste is medium with a room note of pleasant to pleasant to tolerable. On the back of the tin here, it says in 1849, Henry Sutliff opened his first shop in San Francisco on Kearney Street. This fine mixture of sweet Virginia and spicy Perique is commemorating the founding of America's oldest pipe tobacco company. This unique blend is a mixture of bright Virginia, sweet red Virginia, and two cuts of Perique. Aesthetically, this is the perfect vapor blend. Let us hope so. If you watch enough of my channel, you'll know that Sutliff Red Virginias are my favorite. They offer a lot of that tart quality that I really look for in a Red Virginia. Vapors are also my favorite toba pipe tobacco blend. So I'm very excited to try this out. Thank you again. Uh, John for sending this to me very excited. Let's pop this tin open Let's See if I can catch this Aha A very nice ribbon cut. I'm curious to see what the other cut of the Perique is. We know that one of them is going to be a ribbon. Oh, you get a lot of that. You get a lot of the tartness from the Red Virginias for sure. Like a, um, almost like a plum preserve of some sort. Oh, you get some of the sweetness, like a fig, breadiness, almost like a rye type bread, tart uh, aroma in the back. Oh, you get some mineral and bogginess from that Perique. And just a little bit, just a whisper of like a, a lemon zest. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous Perique. I'm not sure <clears throat> what the second cut of Perique is. I don't see any granulated or anything like that. I'm just catching the ribbon cut. So... Very interesting. Let me get this jarred up really quick, load the pipe, and I'll be right back with you, everyone. Stick around. All right, everybody, we're back. I've got the pipe loaded up, and as with all of my first impressions, I am going to be smoking it out of the AKB Meerschaum. This is a Tekken. It is a tomato-shaped lattice finish. Right out of the tin, the blend was just a little bit on the moist side. Um, after I filmed this, I went ahead and loaded the bowl up. I'm going to smoke it as it is. I think it will be fine right out of the tin, but I think it could improve the smoking quality just a little bit if maybe you dry it for about 10 minutes before you jar the tobacco. So just a little heads up on that. 
just a little on the moist side. 10 minutes dry time should be fine to the open air. All right, everybody, let's get lit. Okay, right up front, you catch, you can tell that right up front, this is going to be more on the earth and mineral spectrum as far as the uh, flavor profile. The bright Virginia is really up front. It's going to be your main player. And it comes through with a lot of that hay quality, but it also has just a, a little bit of a mild, bready, pastry sweetness to it. Inside of that hay, though, I'm catching a lot of, it's almost like a mild oak. like a hay and a mild oak. Right underneath that is your red Virginias. The red Virginias come through with that classic tartness. It's a little bit more mellow than what the Sutliff Red Virginia Straight Tobacco is. However, they are there, and it's that classic Sutliff Red Virginia. That tartness comes through very nicely. The Perique is not as strong as I had anticipated. Not even on a complete nasal retrohale, it's really not that offensive. It comes through very mild. But it's lending itself to that boggy quality that Periques have. Between the three components, they interplay to create that uh, charred bacon, salty, savory type flavor, that umami type flavor that I've caught in a few different vapors before. And they come through with this. Imagine, if you will, having a crispy strip of bacon that's been glazed in like a pump, or not a pumpkin, like a uh, plum glaze over oak coals. That's what I'm getting with this. And then right in the front, though, you catch that lighter, grassy hay and the, just a bit of sweetness from the bright Virginias. Very, very nice. And that aftertaste, I'm catching just a real slight hint of like a, um, 
a very dark chocolate. I imagine it's a play between the Perique and the Red Virginia. The Perique has that boggy mineral tone, and then the Red Virginia with its tartness, I think is giving it that dark chocolate, a, a really dark cocoa type flavor. Very nice. Mm. All right, I'm going to let this pipe rest. I've got it down to about the middle of the bowl. I went ahead and gave it a loose pack because it was more on the wet side. It wasn't wet. It was just more, uh, it had a lot more moisture content than uh, a lot of the tobaccos. So I went ahead and gave a, a looser pack so it wouldn't be uh, too hard to draw. It's hard to put down though. Let me let this pipe rest for 10 minutes. I'll be back with you to give you my final thoughts. Stick around everybody. All right everybody, so smoke the pipe down to the halfway point of the bowl. I've let it rest for 10 minutes. Let's light back up and I'll give you my final thoughts. The Red Virginias seem to have picked up quite a bit. The Bright Virginias have faded a little bit into the background. The Red Virginias have come forward. And the bogginess, the boggy from the Perique and the tartness from the Red Virginias are really shining forward right now. This is a great no-nonsense vapor. If you're a vapor lover, this could definitely be an all-day smoke. Those Virginias, the bright Virginias, are offering just a little bit of that nip on the tongue. I think this one would be a great candidate to have with a cup of tea. I've got a video that's going to be coming up about tongue bite that will help to uh, alleviate a lot of that for you. I wouldn't say this is bitey, but it's got just a touch from those Virginias. Anybody who likes Virginias knows that there's a sharpness to the tongue that there's a, in my opinion, there's a difference between having a bite, like the McBaron Stockton for some reason gave me a bite. This one doesn't have the bite, but it does have that little sharpness from the Virginias, from the bright Virginias. All in all, I would say the biggest takeaway from this blend is going to be that it is a, a, a quality vapor that is more on the earth and mineral side of the flavor profile. The Bright Virginias offer a subtle sweetness, like a pasty, pastry sweetness. It offers that hay quality, a little bit of a grassy hay quality. And a little bit of an oak undertone to it. The Red Virginias are offering just a little bit of that tartness on the fruit spectrum. A little bit of a lemon tartness with a plum undertone to those tartness. And a little darker mineral to the, to the uh, Red Virginias as well. The Periques are not overpowering. They do not offend the nose on a purely uh, nasal, re uh, uh, nasal exhale. And on the retrohale, you can definitely catch that boggy mineral flavor 
from the Pariks. The combination of all three varietals offers a that unique charred bacon type umami type flavor in the background. It's something that I've found that's unique to different types of Virginias and Burleys with Perique. There's something about the boggy flavors from the Perique and those tart and sweet flavors from the Virginias and sometimes the sweeter nutty flavors maybe from the white Burleys that combine together to make a, a unique salty type umami type flavor and it's coming through in the background on this. A great earthy type vapor for sure. I really do enjoy this. Thank you very much, John, again for the gift. Really enjoyed it, my friend. All right, everybody, don't forget to, you probably want to let this dry for about 10 minutes to the open air to, to offer an absolutely fantastic smoke. That's going to do it for this episode of Full Dottle. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And until the next time we see each other, I bid you farewell and happy piping. Bye, everyone. Don't forget to enlist in the Full Dottle platoon. It's easy. Just click the subscribe button. Also, hit the bell icon to be notified as soon as I upload the next episode.